guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Fun fact, it's the end of March and yeah, uh, I don't know what is happening to 2019. It's flying by, but it's time for another beauty empties. So I have some things in here that I'm going to share with you guys. I feel like I did pretty good this month in terms of finishing up some things that were just on the cusp of being finished, but a lot of times when I get near the end of a product, I'm like, oh, I'm bored with it. I'll just put it away and I'll get it out in like a few months. And then I just have this product sitting that is literally so close to being finished. And I'm, I, in the last year, have been trying to like get better about just finishing things up and being done with them. And um, I'm pretty proud of myself. So anyway, we're going to go through. I'm just going to grab the items that I think are like must try products that I would totally recommend like you go out buying if you're in the market. I will link down below. Um, I typically don't link everything, but things that are must haves, yes. This will be one of those must haves. Oh, these were so nice, you guys. Do I have the box? I do. Okay, I, ha I just put all the packaging in here too. These were the Patchology Warm Up Perfect 10 Self Warming Hand and Cuticle Masks. I did a mask Monday on these. That video got like no views. So apparently not a lot of people are interested in these, but I think they're amazing, you guys. <laughs> Can you just put socks on your hands with like a bunch of like oils and lotions and you know, whatever, e e totally. But these felt incredible on my hands and um, yes, I will be repurchasing myself. You basically just stick your hands in there and you, it says leave them on for 10 minutes. I left them on for like a few hours and my hands were so incredibly soft and just beautiful looking for like a couple days after. This is an amazing treat. I highly recommend these. If you missed that Mask Monday, I'll link it down below. I didn't see it. Okay, I love this product. I think it's great, but I'm glad that I'm taking a little bit of a break from it. Um, it's the Macadamia Professional Weightless Moisture Shampoo. Um, this is, the weightless moisture is for those of us with fine, thin, baby hair, like what I have here. Uh, this is great, you guys. It, one, it smells absolutely incredible. I love the smell of this line. Um, it works great on my fine thin hair. It doesn't weigh it down, but it provides a good amount of moisture. Uh, right now I am back to using my beloved Pureology Hydrate line, but the next time that Ulta has the leader sale, I'm totally going to pick up a backup of the shampoo and the conditioner from this because I do it every time they have the sale. It's just good stuff. It's amazing. Um, I was speaking of Pureology Hydrate. Okay. I had this in my travel bag and I finished it up the last time I went up to my parents' house. Uh, this is the conditioner. I, ha I still have the shampoo because I always go through conditioner faster than shampoo. The last time that I talked about this, there were some of you that were like, I don't know how that's a thing for you. How do you finish up a conditioner first? For me, like, I think the same thing about those people that finish up conditioner before shampoo like how is that a thing for you um I don't double cleanse my hair I just do one shampoo and then I put on my conditioner but I like a nice coating of my conditioner so I probably use twice as much conditioner as I do shampoo and that is how I always end up with um using up the conditioner first um at first when I got this, I did not love the smell of it, but now it is a smell that I've grown to love and kind of have become addicted to. It's like a minty, it's a very minty, pepperminty, like, but with a hint of herbal. It smells like a fancy tea. I love it. It hydrates my hair beautifully. It doesn't weigh it down. It is one of the best conditioners that I've ever used in my life. Speaking of something that I have repurchased multiple times myself, but this particular one was a PR item. Um, the Amica Soul Food Mask. Um, I was getting mine from TJ Maxx from before they repackaged it into this. Um, it's the exact same product, so I will link this down below. This is a great mask, you guys. Love the smell of it because once again, I'm a sucker for scent. Love it, love it. Stella even asked to use this a couple times, and so I used it on her hair a couple times too, but it's just a really good hydrating mask that doesn't, again, weigh my hair down, but it provides like an intense surge of moisture. Um, and it just makes my hair look really soft and, and shiny and just pretty. I just love this for my great old lady hair. Okay, uh, the uh, 
sweet spot vanilla blossom gentle wash for your nether regions um this is good stuff i started buying this because of tammy from i think it's tammy's ageless beauty now uh she talked about it for the longest time and um i finally saw it at target and was like oh yeah i don't know it is nice it's a nice product and i have stella using this as well um i would recommend using something gentle like this for sure so do you guys hear my dog Stella's downstairs. Stella is on spring break this week, so she's taking care of Penelope, um, which is the only reason why you don't currently see Penelope like shooting around like a rocket behind me here. This dog is nuts, you guys. I love her so much, but she's nuts. But anyway, if you haven't tried this, I'd recommend it. I'll link this down below. Um, these cotton pads from Ulta Beauty. I love them. I think they're great. Um, I know some people are super picky about cotton, but I like the ones from Target, the generic up and up ones, and I like these from Ulta, so good stuff. Um, some trash. Okay, I've gone through several of these and have never put the empties in here because for some reason I just always toss them. I try really hard, everything that I use up, I try really hard to remember to walk in here and put it in this little bucket, but sometimes things just get recycled right away or they get tossed in the trash. This, I love. I love this hand cream and by the way they now have a set out that I will link down below I'm totally gonna be picking it up it's the Copacabana scent and it has a set of the little what dog is this okay that one's fine he's fine <laughs> the other one's nuts um, uh, it has a little of the like body cream and then a full size of the hand cream in that scent as well as a body spray I think it's like 42 bucks for the set I have to try it because I have to try the Copacabana hand cream. Um, but this is this is wonderful, you guys. Like I said, I've gone through several. It is that, like, I think it's like a chorizo something something scent. Um, but it's the classic Brazilian boom boom cream scent. That's that's what I call it. And I just ah, I love this. Yeah. So I'm gonna try the Copacabana one next. I'm assuming the formulation is pretty much the same, but the scent is different. I just this is great hand cream. Good stuff. Love this. The um, Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. I just, I love this. I've repurchased it myself. I've gotten it in PR a couple times. This is a wonderful face wash and I love using this at night with my Clarisonic. I will be repurchasing this for sure. I think it's actually going to go on my Sephora Spring VIB list to pick up. That's going on there. Uh, this is in my skincare panning, ch panning challenge for 2019. By the way, all of my skincare products I am setting aside. Everything that I use up that is like skincare related. Um, I'm going to be doing a big old empties at the end of the year to see like what I have gone through and if I've gone through like multiples of things. Um, but this is in my challenge and I'm glad that I finished it. I love this. I already have a backup of it because... Uh, Paula's Choice on their website has a great kit that has this and then the 10% um, resurfacing treatment. So this is the Resist Daily Smoothing Treatment 5% AHA. This is a great maintenance product. Um, and then the 10% is great for like every three, four, five days, maybe like once, twice a week. Um, I will list the set down below because I think it's such a good deal, but you can get this by itself as well. Um, it's great. Airless pump. Got every last little bit out of here. It's, it's a great product. I can't say enough about it. You guys know I love Paula's Choice. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. So this is the liposomal vitamin C from Quicksilver Scientific. So I got this through Dr. Vitamin Solutions. They send me products periodically to be able to try vitamins. Um, there are some that I have loved. I did not love this one. <laughs> I think it's because I couldn't stand the taste of it and the feel of it in my mouth. It is a liquid vitamin C, so you basically, like, you pour it onto a teaspoon. Um, gosh darn it. Jeez Louise. And it's like kind of orangey in color too. So I'm like staining my hands right now. The smell of it, the taste of it, the feel of it in my mouth, I couldn't do it, but it is a really good vitamin C. You do have to store it in the fridge and it does have to be used up within like a month of opening it. So there's that. Um, but 
I don't know, if you can get past that, it is a great vitamin C. It definitely, I feel like, helped to boost my immune system for sure during the month that I was using it. But yeah, I think I prefer my vitamin C in just like a pill form or the there's actually a good amount of vitamin C in the, um, the liquid vitamin that I take. I will link my liquid vitamin that I'm currently taking down below in the description box. But yeah, this was a little bit of a miss for me. Um, just because of the taste and texture and all that, but I thought I'd toss it in there because I don't know. I think vitamins are an important part of the like my beauty routine. So um, this is the Acure Marula and Argon Dry Oil Body Spray in the scent Coconut. I don't think Acure makes these anymore. I think they have a similar equivalent now. I will link that down below because I do think that um, Acure makes really nice body oils. I was actually mixing this in with my Brazilian Boom Boom Cream to like get like an added like even more moisturizing feel to that. But this is great. Um, I haven't tried the new one, but I'm assuming it's very similar. So this has um, marula oil in it, argan oil, um, sea buckthorn, sandalwood, vitamin E. Um, this was just really great. So yeah, love that. Uh, I uh, replaced my Clarisonic Deep Pore Brush Head. I was actually supposed to replace it, uh, I wanna say it was January, cause I do it every six months. So, but I just got lazy. So here it is the end of March and I just replaced it on Monday of this past week. So I was a little bit overdue, but it's it still worked fine. Um, I do prefer the Deep Pore Brush Head over any other Clarisonic brush head. Um, so yeah, that's what I buy. I love my Clarisonic. I cannot give it up. I'm sorry. It's the one thing that I just, I can't, I can't give it up. All right. Um, some random perfume, sam perfume samples, because I always get these with Ulta orders. Um, this one actually, I think, came with a Sephora order, because this is Victor and Rolf. So this is Sparkling Secret, Dancing Roses, and Liquid Diamonds. Didn't really care for either three of these, but wore them anyway. <laughs> and this is the, this was another one from Sephora. Not a perfume from Juliet Has a Gun. I thought this was okay. Um, just not really my type of sense. So yeah, didn't love those. And then in terms of makeup, mm, Laura Geller Balance and Brighton finished one of these. Um, this is the Baked Balance and Brighton in the shade Porcelain. I do like to mix the porcelain and the fair together because it's just a better color match for me overall. Porcelain is way too fair on its own and fair is kind of the wrong tone for me. So, but mixed together, they're pretty good. Um, by the way, I don't think Laura Geller is going away. Although I did buy a bunch of backups, which is fine because they were on sale. I think they're rebranding. So um, if you didn't know, their parent company went bankrupt but apparently everything that was underneath that parent company was sold off. So I think Laura Geller is still gonna be a thing. Um, Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. Uh, love it. I do have the full size of this. This was just a little one that came in like a holiday kit or something. I love the original Mineral Veil. I think it's fantastic. You guys know how I like to use these types of powders. I actually put them on before I put my powder foundation on. And then I also will sometimes put even more on top. This is a really great lightweight powder, um, doesn't clog my pores, it helps to keep things nice and matte. I prefer a more matte look to my foundation. Um, I am not one of those like YouTube dewy people. I don't need to look like a grease ball any more than I already do with my oily skin, so I like to keep it matte. And then the Buxom Blackest Black, just mascara, um, love this. Love this particular size. This is a great mascara, you guys. It does have the plastic bristle wand, hourglass shape. Um, this is usually pretty readily available in this size, and I will continue to repurchase it in this size, but even the full size, if you keep your mascara a little bit longer than what I do, this is a great one to try. I think the price point is reasonable. I think it's like 18 or 20 bucks. One of the two, good deal no matter what. So that is everything that I finished this month. I'm pretty proud of myself, and um, I will link all of my most recommended products down below for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you tomorrow for Friday Favorites and Flops. Take care, bye.